A little over a week ago, as our students departed for spring recess, I directed the University of Miami community to focus on preparation, precaution, and prudence, not panic, while health officials around the world continue to address the outbreak of a novel coronavirus disease known as COVID-19. In the days since, the World Health Organization declared COVID-19 a pandemic. Federal, state, and local officials have declared states of emergency, and there are now reported cases of coronavirus in Miami-Dade County. We have communicated with you electronically, making you aware of the measures the U is taking to prioritize health and safety as we navigate this rapidly evolving situation. All updates regarding university operations, classes, travel restrictions, prevention and well-being, and links to resources are available to you 24-7 at coronavirus.miami.edu. Today, as we hear news of extraordinary developments, I want to take a few moments to allay your concerns and share with you our approach to the pandemic. During the course of my career in public health, as a physician, a researcher, an academic, an executive director at the World Health Organization, and a national health minister, this is the fourth pandemic in which I have been faced with tough decisions. I am keenly aware that by definition, every novel pathogen generates a sense of uncertainty since humans are encountering it for the first time and uncertainty in turn generates anxiety. Yet there is much we have learned from previous disease outbreaks even as we closely monitor the new pandemic to understand its specific characteristics and adjust our response accordingly. Like many of my colleagues in national governments and international organizations, I too have accumulated experience, having previously navigated outbreaks of avian flu, SARS, and H1N1. In addition, our university has a leadership team well-versed in emergency response. These elements provide our community with extensive know-how as we face together the uncertainty entailed by this pandemic. We are learning more about COVID-19 every day. For example, we know that it is highly contagious and that community transmission is now entrenched in many parts of the world. These are indeed challenging attributes of the current pandemic. Yet we are fortunate to live in a time when scientific discovery, the very lifeblood of who we are as a research university and academic health system, has led to advances in surveillance, diagnostic tools, analysis, and communications that will help us arrest the impact of COVID-19. The common aim of everyone involved in this fight is to slow down transmission of the disease so that our health systems can respond appropriately while effective drugs and vaccines are developed, tested, and deployed. Slowing the spread of the disease will require short-term sacrifices, but the rewards will be incommensurate in terms of life saves and suffering avoided. I want to thank you for the courageous way I know Keynes will respond to necessary measures. In the coming days and weeks, the steps we take around COVID-19 will continue to evolve. As things progress, we will keep you informed. To our students, we realize the decisions we are making have an impact on your college experience. We do not make them lightly. We trust that this time will inspire you with lessons about compassion, ingenuity, and the importance of pursuing the common good. To parents and families, our number one concern is the safety and well-being of your student. This is especially true when we face an emergency. We appreciate your support in helping our students fulfill their educational goals, even when circumstances require that we adopt new methods of delivery. To our faculty and staff, your flexibility and your relentless pursuit of excellence gives us confidence that we can weather and learn through any situation our university faces. As we announced following our telework drill yesterday, we are implementing temporary exceptions to our HR policies to encourage social distancing and minimize the number of people on campus. 
Thank you for your commitment to our shirt mission, creativity, and can-do spirit. Finally, a word to our clinical professionals on the front lines. You are working long hours, adjusting as we learn more about this disease and prioritizing our patients. As South Florida prepares for what may lie ahead, you health is ready. Pandemics remind us of two things, our vulnerability as human beings and our interconnectedness as a global family. During this time, let us model how resourcefulness, resolve, and resilience can help us overcome any challenge we face. We are one you.